What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here, and today I wanted to talk about game sharing for the PlayStation 4. I made a video about it a little while ago talking about the possibility that you could get banned. Today I wanted to elaborate on it a little bit more and address a lot of uh, people's concerns. Now before we get into this video, little disclaimer, please do not comment in the comment section below. I have these amount of games to share and uh, if you're willing to share, then I have these games uh, that, that I want. Okay, don't make those type of comments. Because Sony does watch these videos, and that by far would be the easiest way for you to get banned if you're even concerned. Myself, just to, just to advise you, myself, I do not game share. Um, all of my accounts are on my PS4. Um, and if I go over to my friend's house, I might log on and uh, play on their account. Um, but for the most part, my PlayStation 4 is the only one activated uh, with my account. Now, a lot of people have been having questions and concerns. Can you still log into another PlayStation 4 without risking getting your account banned? Yes, that's a feature that is available to absolutely everyone. You can go over to your friend's house. You can log in. To, with your PlayStation Network account, you can download whatever games you want and play them. Now, um, like I said, I do not game share at all, um, so I wouldn't advise this. But let's say, hypothetically speaking, you accidentally leave your account activated on your friend's account. And then you go home and you log into your account and you play your games on your PS4. That's at your discretion. Um, so, I mean, you still risk the chance of being banned. I haven't heard anybody getting banned uh, for, for accidentally, okay, accidentally leaving your account activated on your ps uh on your friend's ps4 and then coming home and using your ps4 what sony looks at is suspicious activity so if i live in la and i log in and activate my ps4 um as a primary account and then an hour later um somebody else in new york or somebody else in egypt or somewhere else in the world logs into my ps4 account playstation network account then sony um detects that and says hmm how how did, how did he get from point a to point b so quickly that's not possible let's investigate a little bit further and if you're logging on to several accounts uh, within a short period of time and you activate your playstation 4 um then you also risk the chance of getting banned now I'm talking about this because a lot of people in the past have game shared uh, with other people and uh, they game share with multiple people. I don't recommend that at all. Um, like I've said in the past, if you're going to game share, game share with a close friend or relative, um, preferably a relative. Um, but it, it, you, even that can be tricky. Sometimes uh, you, you can... You, people are weird sometimes so you you can uh, risk the chance of that but like i said if you go over to your friend's house and you quote unquote accidentally leave your playstation 4 act playstation 4 account activated on his ps4 and then you come home and use yours uh and just log in you don't have it activated you still will be fine. That feature is still available to everyone. You can log into whatever PS4 uh, you want with your account and you'll be safe. Um, what what uh, Sony is looking for, again, I'm gonna repeat myself because I wanna stress this, is suspicious activity. Um, so if you're not, you, you know, you're not logging into multiple PS4s within a couple of days or within a, a short period of, of time. If you're not logging into uh, PS4 across country, they look at IPs, they look at all of that and they, they put all of that into consideration. Um, so, like I said, if you don't want to risk your PlayStation 4, PlayStation Network account getting banned, then just don't do it at all. But like, but also, like I said, if you accidentally, guys, leave your PS4 activated on your friend's account and then you log into your PS4, that's completely up to you. Um, so I hope that answers a lot of your guys' questions because a lot of people were like, Monkey Flop, can you still game share? And hypothetically speaking, uh, you... you Take the information that I give you and use your best judgment on that. Um, 
you still risk the chance of getting banned um, and that's why I made that video that's why I made the video saying you know what don't game share because you can get banned it's always been there and it's always been a thing to where you can get banned Sony's really hitting hard on this and Sony's really looking into the people with suspicious activity if you've had your PlayStation 4 activated on a certain PS4 for a, a long period of time more than a week or so um, and, and you you get that all set up already I wouldn't worry about it as much uh, like I said Sony's looking at suspicious activity so that's it for me I hope that answered everybody's questions if you have more questions hit me up in the comment section below the fastest way to get an answer is of course on Twitter if you guys aren't following me on Twitter that would be awesome um, you know because you guys can DM me and when I get a chance to answer you guys back then I definitely do so, and I usually answer pretty quickly. So anyways, like I said, that's it for me. Make sure to hit a like. That really helps me out. If you guys haven't already subscribed, that would be awesome as well. And I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.